Welcome back. Previously, we learned how to stream binary data using Socket.io. This is the last section of the course. It deals with integrating Socket.io with mobile applications. We will learn how to use Socket.io for real-time communication in PhoneGap or Cordova app. The topics that will be covered are throwing an alert when the socket connects to our server, pushing up weather data from the server, responding to taps on the device, performing server-side pagination, triggering hot deploys. This is the first video, throwing an alert when the socket connects. In this video, we will emit a message from the server using Socket.io when the application first opens. Apache Cordova is a platform for building native mobile applications using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It basically wraps your entire application in a web view and exposes certain native events to the application through JavaScript. For this video, you will need to use a Mac. The reason for this is that Cordova will create an app that runs using Xcode, which is only available for the Macintosh operating system. OK, let's get started. How do we throw an alert in a Cordova app when the socket connects? First, we need to install Cordova. There is a command line interface that can be installed by running npm install Cordova hyphen G in your terminal. Since I've already installed Cordova, I'm not running this command again. To see if it installed properly, we'll type Cordova hyphen hyphen version. Next, we need to create a new application using the Cordova command line interface that we just installed. Let's first enter the path where we want our application to be created. It's a new folder called Section 8, under which there's another folder called Throwing Alert. Now, Cordova can be run with Cordova create appcom.sockets.connect throw alert. The first argument, app, will be the folder into which the project gets built into. The second argument, com.sockets.connect, is the reverse domain style identifier. The third argument, throw alert, is the application title. OK, our new project has been created. Let's check it out. As you can see, it has been created just the way we needed. Nice. Now we will add a platform to our app. Cordova is not limited to running iOS emulations, but it's a good starting point. First, change the location to the app folder. Now type Cordova Platform Add iOS to add the iOS platform as a target for our project. Now that we have an iOS target, we can build to it. For that, we need to run Cordova Build iOS. Build succeeded. Great. What we really want is to be able to emulate an iOS device, and for this, we need an iOS simulator. We can install the simulator by running brew install iOS hyphen sim. I've already installed it here. Now that we've got Cordova ready to go, we'll need a server to use Socket.io with. We can create a server.js file, which I've already created in the app folder. We can start it for access in the app. Now, in the Cordova application that you generated, there will be an index.html file located in the slash www directory. This will be the file that Cordova uses when you navigate to your app on a device. We can add the following lines of code to the index file to start using Socket.io in our app. In our example, we are starting a server on port 5000. So we simply have to load the script from the same location and call the I.O. function with our first argument pointing to the server and the port we have spun up. OK, let's run Cordova Emulate iOS. After the app starts, you should see something like this. Great! Unlike standard web pages, applications wrapped in Cordova are not restricted by cross-domain origin policy. This means that we are able to load Socket.io from any domain, and it will just work. We successfully emitted a message when our socket connected with the server.